this needs to go here. I got this uh, watchmaker's lathe like a year ago or something like that. And the lathe itself is probably more than a hundred years. I bought it for about a uh, hundred dollars or something. It was pretty cheap, but uh, I thought maybe I will rebuild it, recreate it. I already kind of have a lathe, not that small, obviously. Maybe we can make a gear hobbing machine out of this. What is gear hobbing, you ask? I have no idea. <laughs> Basically, it's a way to cut gears, kind of similar to making threads. Can we make a gear hobbing machine? <laughs> I don't know, but let's try. Now, before we get to the gear hobbing shenanigans, we need to clean this lathe up, get it through, get it nice and smooth again, like in the old days. I actually have no idea how it was in the old days, but probably it was nicer than this. It's not too bad, but we need to get it ready. After that, we need to remake a few parts because, well, they're missing and we do need them, uh, but we'll get to that once everything is nice and clean and delicious. So the first thing we need to make for this lathe is some sort of stand and I chose mahogany naturally because uh, of course I had to choose mahogany. I'm going for a traditional clamp style stand where it holds the lathe from the bottom. That sounds pretty straightforward but you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. As you can see, am I in focus? Probably not, but a few parts are missing from this lathe, which is fine because we don't need them all, but uh, we do need the cross feed, cross slider uh, handle here to turn it, to go in and out. <laughs> There's a hole for the oil and I don't have an oiler so let's make also one of these.
Whoopsie. Okay, I put a little cotton inside. I don't know if, I don't know how oilers work. <laughs> Hopefully this, this will be enough. Uh, and a tiny hole on the top so the oil can flow down. Does it make sense? I don't know. It is time to make the gear hobbing attachment itself. The first thing we're going to do is to make the base plate which will hold the ball bearing. The ball bearing is there to make sure the gear can turn freely while it's being cut. And uh, we also may need to make some sort of tailstock support of the gear. So it will make sure that the gear doesn't climb out of the mechanism and destroys the entire universe. Making this hole in the middle was pretty stupid. Uh, because now I don't have a center. Anyway, I, I don't need it. All you need to know is that I've realized I can use the back plate of my chuck, this chuck here, bloop, uh, to mount, to make it a kind of a surface plate because I don't have one. So all I need to do is, yeah, mark these holes uh, and I need like a kind of a spitz. <laughs> Okay, here goes. Wait, safety glasses, obviously. Right, let's go. So I guess we're going for a slide fit. Well, that's fine. <laughs> this looks ridiculous, but we can, uh, let's roll with it. It's not gonna work and it's completely off-centered as well. Ah, crap, I really thought it would be clever, but it's not. Okay, as you can see, I cut a little chunk. Hopefully that will help with our uh, ongoing adventures. Okay, now the question is, can I indicate this? Probably not. Three hours later. You see, I finally did it. I've done what you ask. Let's get back to it, okay? <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm not not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, as you can see, the cylinder in the middle is not very concentric. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, what's important is that the bore through it is concentric with the base of the mechanism. It would have been nicer to be more concentric and precise, but um, that, ain't, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> But there we go.
It's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that this hole is not original. The reason I'm thinking it's not original is because there are these to two holes here and uh, this hole goes all the way through, which means that the dust goes into the, the dovetail, which is bad. Maybe it's getting covered while it's going, but it looks kind of like badly made. <laughs> so I'm gonna plug this hole. I am gonna make a thread or something like that. Well, shit. I have to step in here. Not that I want, I actually do want to. And I apologize if I walk around a little bit. I'm those guys who walk everywhere while speaking on the phone. Not that anyone speaks on the phone anymore. I got everything ready. Delicious, perfect, precision to my standards. And it looked great. The brass bronze late is spectacular. And I'm like getting ready to get this black magic like I promised you guys. And it just, it, it didn't, it didn't do that. And I was quite uh, flabber, flabbergasted. Man, that's a great work. I was really quite devastated because I spent so much time working on this and it looked really nice and I cut it. I'm not gonna make a thumbnail with a huge, like massive letters saying fail, question mark. And then fail actually. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to make it work even if it means cutting my own leg off, which I'm not gonna cut my own leg off. I have this old lathe, the Thai lathe, that I uh, was collecting dust and doing nothing. And we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna get this black magic. We're gonna get some gear hopping in this shenanigans. I think it's about time I, I stop speaking and get this <laughs> working. Here we go. Come on, oh, come on. Okay, I think we can, I, I think we're done. All right, man, I, yeah, that's, um, I guess that's the rigidity. All right, well, what do you know? What do you know? This one looks actually freaking amazing. Sorry for sounding like an idiot. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, let's try this again, take two. I should have oiled this one as well, I guess. Anyway, 
anyway, my friends. <laughs> so, my friends, uh, kind of a failed success situation. We did manage to cut gears uh, pretty successfully. Still a little bit of tuning, but foam, uh, when it comes to warm gears, I think that worked pretty spectacularly. When it comes to the brass um, uh, antique late, I would love it if you can give me suggestions, give me ideas. I generally want to figure out what to do about it. So to wrap up this video, I want to mention, please consider going to Patreon. This like uh, pays for everything here and it's really, really helpful. And uh, whoa, yeah, if you can go. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see where we go from here. Three hours later. Three hours later. Three hours later.